Hey, so in Fusion Surfaces, when you're working, you'll notice you still have the fillet and chamfer in this toolbar, but it's going to behave a little bit different. So let's take a look at it. The first question is, does it even work? And that would be terrible if they put it on the toolbar, but worse things have happened. So yes, it does work. It's just different. So when we choose fillet and we choose a corner here, it's going to round it like we expect. We still have the series of fillets over here in the dialog. So you can do a fillet, a rule fillet, full round fillet, and you can adjust your values. Everything that um, I covered in my other fillet video, I'll throw that down in the description. It's going to take the faces that were there, even though there was this straight edge and make this rounded face. I'm going to undo this. Now, what's different about fillet in the surface space is that you cannot really pick an edge. So for example, can I pick this edge? You are not allowed to. The only thing, because there is zero thickness in your surfaces, the only thing you can pick is basically where two faces meet. Let's look at a different example real quick. I have these two faces. Turn on the fillet command, go to the edge that we want, and it's gonna allow us to put that fillet right between these two faces. Now with this box, one thing that um, kind of surprised me a little bit was if you go to fill it and you choose the full round fill it, this one's especially helpful when you want to create a rounded transition between two faces. You basically select the center. So if this is the top, this is the bottom, and I'd like to have this rounded, I'll select it and it rounds this to create this transition between those two faces. Pretty helpful for the full round fill it that does work with surfaces. Now, when it comes to chamfer, it's going to behave almost the same as the fillet. We can select an edge between two faces and add the chamfer. Same thing, I cannot add a chamfer to a zero edge. I can do these faces here and add the chamfer. Let's go to the chamfer. I'm going to select the edge between the two faces, and then we'll choose the different types. Equal distance um, is the simplest. Let's do two distance, and this lets you control two things at once. It lets you control kind of this depth going this way and the depth going down. So it lets you set different values. You can choose distance and angle. And instead of a, you know, two different, you know, depths, you can do a distance and an angle to control this chamfer. Just remember that you cannot put a chamfer on a zero thickness edge. It's between two faces. Now, what happens when you have something closed off? But before I add the fillet, I'm going to go to my bodies. You'll notice I have two different surface bodies. It's going to work better if I add these together using the stitch command. So I select the two different surfaces. It's now one surface and it should allow us to fill it. So if we now choose this edge, let's choose the regular fillet. It remembers the last one. I'm going to choose all of these edges here. And now we can add that fillet to all these edges and how they transition at the surface level. Stuff we're all familiar with, I think, with solids, but just good to be aware of what you can do in the surface. So kind of a short one today. That's fillets and chamfers in surfaces. I'll see you in the next video.